everyone thank you for joining me at Lori Houston art it's time for another flower pop and we're going to use some leftover paints this is Mondo Llama it's their fluorescent purple I love this color wait till you see it and then we've got some leftover paints this one's some magic fly some pebio uh, magic fly is just a craft paint that I bought and this is pebio mixed in again these were on my shelf i added a little water and just kind of want to get rid of them okay this is blick cobalt turquoise and white uh, i know that's a very odd way to make this color it's really light but that's what the lid says so we're going to go with it amsterdam reflex rose another blick and a magenta mixed in this one so there's not a lot left so i'm just putting it um just not a lot of this color i really do not want a lot of um, magenta i don't think in this flower pop we're just going to go ahead and quickly i sped up a little bit we're going to mix it up and i'm going to go over a few things and then put music on um, but the key here is getting as much paint off the canvas as you can and if you're using a lot of craft paints then you need to paint those edges but typically if you mix some craft paints with some good um, high highly pigmented paint it works well this is uh remember uh art alchemy the little nine dollar tubs that you get well this that green was to me similar to art alchemy if you put in amazon see similar products that's what it was and that's what i got so i am using porridge posse twilight pearl to do the swiping with wait till you see this and i will be using it again we're going to do a surface pull using plastic remember is always um it drags the paint on top of the paint when i use a paper towel it allows it to mix and sink down into the paint a little bit better I pulled this one kind of quick. Um, it's all about what kind of character that, or what kind of outlook I'm looking for in the background. I have to tell you, this background has to be one of my favorites. I want to do this in a, a larger canvas. Look at that. It's beautiful. Just so dreamy. Um, is it my favorite flower pop? No. You'll see the flowers when we're done. I am experimenting on these smaller canvases, trying to do different style flowers, trying to do different style compositions. And um, I just, I love it, still pretty. And I, I ended up resonating the end piece to bring out some of the colors, but I, a lot of people love it. I just, um, I don't know, I'm really uh, liking the vine flowers that I've been doing lately, but. We've got to mix it up a bit. Okay, so we are going to be using um, Blick Black. I decided to flip it around, and I'm going to just put a small dot of the Blick Black, and I also decided after doing just the black on this flower that I was going to alternate and use a little bit of the Paraj Posse um, as well as some of that green that I squirted on the canvas at the end. Just because you can see, there's not a lot of definition in these petals. So when I'm, I'm using um, my cake, uh, I'm sorry, stainless steel straw this time. And you're going to see me rotate between puffy and the stainless steel straw on and off throughout this video. I believe I switched to Puffy. Um, but what I want to do is really let you watch, sit back and watch. You'll see um, the more you blow, when you have that, uh, that light color that I squirted on the top, and you pull with the surface pull with the plastic, you're still leaving some of that light color on the top and that's why you'll see me squirt paint after I've spread it out because I need some sort of definition in these flowers. So this one didn't really have as much definition as I thought I would get. 
So there's so much you can do to create that yourself as you're blowing them out. So let's sit back. I'm going to go through and blow these flowers out. I've jibber jabbered enough. If you, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. I would love for you to try this. If you need help, um, just reach out. But I'm going to see you. Uh, we're going to go down for a close up once I have the flowers done. So I will see you there. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So we are, this is the last flower, and it's actually my favorite little baby flower here. We're going to go down for a close-up, and I'm going to show you how these paints reacted together. It was pretty cool. And then I'm going to show you the dried, resined results. I will see you there. Okay, let's go down for a close-up. Look at the cells popping up in these flowers. I think it's that paint that I used. It's a new brand and a little small container. Um, I think that's what's creating. I love that one right there. That little flower is what's going to make me do kind of like a cherry blossom vine, I think. I am just in love with this color palette. I decided to resin it, and it just brought the colors out. I hope you enjoyed this flower pop. I am in love with this color palette, and I will be swiping again with that blue. Thank you for tuning in. Take care, everyone. Till next time.